Well, I grew up in Brixton um, all my life. Uh, my, with my mother and father and four brothers. Well, you know, growing up, I always liked Crystal Palace. You know, you know, you had the famous footballers like Ian Wright and stuff like that. So Crystal Palace was always one of the teams that we always wanted to try and get down to, and see if we could get into the football team as well. Yeah, so we used to come down, try and you know watch some of the games as well. The school used to take us down here. That's when I got into the academy. I got in when I was 15, because well, what happened is that there was a team called South London, and South London was a team that goes to all different schools takes out, you know, various football players, defenders, attackers, whatever, and get a good team together and set us out to academy teams. Some of my friends went to Tottenham, some went, you know, to Arsenal. I came to Palace. I was a striker, I was up front. I was a real good goal scorer. You put that ball in front and I'll, I'll, I'll get that goal in, you know? But, you know, I'll put some weight on now, so I don't know. <laughs> I was in the academy for about three years. I, I had dreams. I thought I was the man. I thought, you know, I'm going to be the new, you know, the new, you know, striker on, on the box. So after I started, you know, came out of football, I, you know, started to work and I went into like barbering and estate agent work. Um, but it was really boring. I, I just never found my heart there. And then I ended up saying, you know what, I love music now. I started to get into keyboards, started to play, learn pianos. Then I started to produce some tracks and then from there I started to be a singer. Um, I knew I had a voice though, because sometimes I was singing in the, in, the, in the changing rooms and they were thinking, who's singing? And I used to <laughs> kind of shy off, I didn't want them to hear. Now the first time I applied for The Voice was in November, <laughs> and I got through to doing an audition. They called me in, especially down at the ITV studios. We had a meeting and I've done the next audition and they said, listen, sent an email to me about three weeks after. I was through and then now I'm live on the TV doing all this auditions and you know I'm on Team Tom which you know Tom's just a great guy, a wisdom guy, a knowledge guy, he's the UK legend. I've got a brother-in-law that has gone professional and a pro footballer that has um, you know played against Palace a couple of times and I've said to him take it easy with me local team that's my team you know you know we and him always have bad names with Mikel Antonio place for West Ham. I'm really looking to get some good support from Palace fans because you know I'm a homeboy you know and um, it would be great to have all the support from the Palace fans and we go and win this together you know. <laughs> yeah I'll be down at the, the fan zone yeah with um, against um, Crystal Palace against Man United it's going to be wonderful and just to you know just to see the, the team play on that day I just can't, I can't wait it's going to bring back a lot of memories to me and to see the fans cheering on, it's going to be great, you know? Yeah, but I just want to thank you guys for having me down here, you know? Yeah, thank you very much. It's been it's, great to it's, talk it's, to you. It's, it's brilliant, brilliant. And brilliant. I'm going to hand you the microphone now, because I want, yeah, I want you to do a bit of singing. Do a bit of singing, that'll be good, yeah. Cool, let's do it. You walked with me, footprints in the sand. You helped me understand where I'm going You walked with me when I'm all alone You helped me understand where I'm going I'll promise you I'm always there you find your footprints in the sand. When I'm weary, I know you'll be there and I will be there when you say. 